the reason for all the stakes is, you know, this is a driveway here, I guess, so we can get in here, right here, it's going to be kind of a hidden driveway in, just to keep people from hitting it, so when I go around here, here, I got every edge marked, right here by the driveway, I got it marked heavy, so don't put in here, a nephew, or son, or anything with a four-wheeler, anything can hit any, so, when you keep them, and I'll keep them, keep them all marked. It's the beginning, beginning of August, and uh, this is our tree. And there's 10 apple trees in here. And uh, we also planted around this field a lot of spruce. There was 100, 100 something I remember, as a cover so it grows up. And this, that over there is a food plot. We're gonna, and, you know, it's got all sorts of plans for this, and that'll be coming if you will keep updating in future videos. But this year was kind of difficult because it was so hard to keep anything mowed. We did anything around these trees because of weather. And just planting food plots were hard. So it was hard that these trees are in a lot of weeds, but at the same time, it helped it a lot because with the wind, the trees that were less protected, it got so wet that it was blowing the trees over when it got really windy because it was so windy early in the year. But the ones that were in the taller grass stayed up. And they stayed nice. They're all growing. They're all a few inches taller already. So hopefully next year we'll be able to keep up on this a little better and keep it. I think you know a couple out of a, as many as we planted. There's a few that died. That's going to happen, but very little. The apple tree blossomed and everything. They're getting a little dry now, but I'm trying to keep everything, all the weeds down as much as I can. So I just grow around them and stuff like that. But I couldn't just get right around them, and that's hard to do anyway. You spend hours out here doing that. I don't have a more to get around that stuff, but all work in progress but like I said with the amount of rain we got I'm glad I left some of this grass up because it probably would have turned the mud and they would have fell over anyway and at least this held the water all that grass held the water there for them to keep water there so that's what happened so far this year right or wrong that's what happened and we're dealing with it so this is where we're at where this is where we're at so far for instance this apple tree we put this up and uh like I said, it's so hard to get around it as far as uh, keeping all the weeds down. But, you know, we got to kind of pack it to the small area. And like I said, when it rains, this holds water and keeps more water to the tree longer. So, it is what it is. We do still want to get mulch in here. That was something that was hard to do. I mean, we got to get it. That's, you know, everything has been soaking wet up here this year. But, you know, take it as it goes. But... These trees, all, the, all these apple trees are doing rather well. They all grew quite a bit, so.